subdivision surface weighting. Now, if I create a cube and I create a subdivision surface, I make my cube editable and I put my subdivision surface in there, and then I'm going to create two more copies by control dragging, not the cube, the subdivision surface, so that I have three of exactly the same. They are subdivision surfaces with three editable cubes. Subdivision surface, as I have said, subdivides and softens the outside and rounds this out. I can control how much that rounds using a little tool um, down here. I need my cube selected, and then I have the tools down the bottom. I need the poly I need one of these selected. So I'm going to go for points first, and I'm going to choose my first cube, and I'm going to choose loop selection, and I'm going to select all of the points along the top. So when they are white, they are highlighted. Click. They are now orange to make sure that I've got them. This tool down here is subdivision surface weighting. And if I click to activate the tool and in a blank space, click and drag holding my left mouse button from left to right, I can control the percentage that that is being, that the weight that the subdivision surface is having on those points from 0%, meaning that they are basically back where the original cube is, to 100%, oops, I need to turn the subdivision weight on, to 100%, meaning that they are as weighted as they can get. And you can stop at any particular point. So you've got full control over creating pointier points, pointier points. If I go to cube number two, and I go to my edge mode on the left, and loop selection down the bottom, and I select the top loop of that, so that's all the way around, again, subdivision surface weighting tool, click in a blank space, click and drag from left to right. I now have a completely flat surface, but I have the rounded edges. And again, so it meets the original face of that, but the edges remain rounded. Again, this is something that's really useful for possibly creating sharper edges without needing more geometry. And last but not least, I'm just gonna go to my polygon mode, my move tool, select the top one, click and drag with my point to select a completely flat, to get a completely flat surface. And that means that that is exactly back where it was before.